Hey guys, Nick at Night 20 here. Sorry it's been a while, sorry I haven't posted a video, but as a lot of you saw, I got my new Canon T4i camera, which I am using right now. But let me get to it. I've seen a lot of the news coverage about Prop 8 today. I hope it's going well. I hope it's going in the right favor. I hope it's getting worked out the way that it should be. But hey, you guys let me know in the comments below. What I really, really want to talk today about was DOMA, Defense of Marriage Act. Let me, let me, for my military brethren and sisters, I want to read to you guys some stuff that DOMA prevents us military gay men and women, bisexual, transgender men and women, from utilizing. There's a lot of things within the military that we're not even allowed to participate in or take advantage of. DOMA prevents the federal government from recognizing a marriage between same-sex couples. We can get married in a state that recognizes it, but the federal government does not. Meaning, we can go to some other state that recognizes our marriage with another man, or for a woman with another woman. However, since every military soldier works for the federal government, it's not recognized at the federal level. Number two, moving and PCS. PCS means a permanent change of station when we get relocated to another base. DOMA prevents the increased funding it costs to move a family to a new duty assignment. Also, same-sex partners cannot live on base together and cannot have their housing allowance adjusted for the with-dependent rate. I am a single staff sergeant. I make X amount of money in a housing allowance. If I had a husband, my rate would not change because he's a man. That's the only reason. And if I was married and I wanted to live on base, my husband cannot legally live with me. That's two. Here's three. Emergency notification situations. DOMA prevents a same-sex partner from being listed as the direct next of kin. They can only be labeled as designated persons who are notified. In layman's terms, next of kin in a heterosexual relationship would default to the spouse if no other person was listed. However, with DOMA, if I am killed overseas and I want my husband to be notified first, he can't. It will default to what would be my parents and then my husband would be a designated person that would find out some number of hours later. That's three. Four, same-sex couples, the non-military spouse, if they're non-military, if they're a civilian, they're not eligible for any health benefits whatsoever versus our heterosexual counterparts who are entitled to every medical benefit that the service member is. My spouse would have to purchase health insurance on his own dime. It's not right. That's four. Five, possibly the most expensive one, most expensive lump sum issue. There is no family separation allowance. If you get, my wife, if I was straight, would get what's called family set, family separation. The military gives a certain amount of money to heterosexual spouses if their service member is training for longer than 30 days at some other base, is deployed overseas, what have you they're afforded a certain amount of money per month because of the hardship, because of the separation. Same-sex couples, we're not afforded that. Tomorrow, I hope the Supreme Court rules in favor of humanity, in favor of civility. I hope they make the right decision. It's time for a change. Let me know what you guys, all my military servicemen and women who are part of the LGBT community, even my straight service member, brothers and sisters, let me know what you think the most significant, the most important fact about DOMA that you think needs to go away. All right, Nick and I 20. I'll see you guys later. Bye.